Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike, you are watching Spud Boys TV. And today we are going down probably the most famous street in the world. Um, I forgot what the street's called. Two seconds. I'm here with the legendary... Aaron David. Aaron. And what's the street called? Matthew Street. Matthew Street. It's the world famous Matthew Street. Um, it's basically where all the Beatles started out. And it's got some really cool statues and stuff. We're going to go and have a look at it. But first, have a look at that. That's amazing. Been up there? That was awesome. It was really, really awesome. So, Matthew Street is back this way, isn't it? Is this the start of Matthew Street? No. First, take a right and then take a left and then go straight okay. on. But as you guys come here to watch excellent vlogs, we're just going to make this a little bit long. We're going to show you some extra streets. Obviously, in this vlog series, I haven't really done like the shopping, the shopping side of things, because in all fairness, like I don't really do shopping. Like all I've bought is a magnet, <laughs> um, and that's to go on my little board. You know, my little I've conquered Liverpool. But this Liverpool is amazing. It has an amazing shopping centre. It's busy. It's fun. <coughs> what? <laughs> is that what they were saying? <laughs> yeah, so down there, that, that that's the main shopping centre, isn't it? Oh, God. She's just dropping all, the, <laughs> dropping all the drink everywhere. So that is the main shopping centre. Yeah. So then you've got all your kind of shops. Um, again it's not really worth going down there and showing you because you've probably seen that a million times so we're going down here now we come down here last night i'm not sure if i vlogged it i think i did but it was ram out no i didn't i was saving it for today it was just <coughs> it was just really really busy and um in all fairness it was too busy people might have like taken the camera off me and stuff like that so we'll try again on the camera and and what not and Aaron wouldn't be able to protect me against those big brute men so um yeah so we thought we'd dedicate a whole vlog to it today and that's exactly what we're doing so it is just down here on the left what's oh, weird is it <laughs> okay should we go see this statue first then come back down the street yeah so this is Matthew Street we're gonna go see a Elega, Elena Gunner, what is it? Elena Rigby. Elena. Elena. Eleanor. Eleanor. So we're gonna go see Eleanor Rigby. And then we're gonna head down the world famous Matthew Street. Obviously there's a massive, massive music scene um, from Liverpool. There's a little band, I don't know if you've heard of them, called the Beatles. And this is where they, this is their old stomping ground. And where we're gonna go? That's where they always used to play. I think that's where they um, that's where they became famous. But there's there's other stuff down there. And this here, apparently, this had a massive queue last night. And look, it's still queue now. It's like a pizza place. And here she is, Eleanor Rigby. Now, Beatles have sung a song about her. Um, so this was sculpted by Tommy Steele, uh, which is a thank you to the people of Liverpool from the 3rd of December, 1982. How the hell did you know that, Mike? Because I read it! <laughs> it's from the album Revolver on the 6th of August. And she is mentioned in is the that? song All the Lonely People. Who is she then? What was the story? About Eleanor Rigby. Hiya, mate. What was the story about? Who what was she? Um, I'm not a Beatles fan, so I don't know. Okay. Uh, but she's like a, a, a Liverpool legend or something, isn't she? The song was written about her. She was from Liverpool, yeah. She was featured in the song All the Lonely People, you know that song. Yeah. All the Lonely People. But they did a song called Eleanor Rigby as well, didn't they? Eleanor Rigby, na 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 na. Oh, was that the song? Yeah, so the song's called All the Lonely ah, People. Ah, okay. But it starts off. Look at all the lonely people. Oh, there we go. There we go. <clears throat> so, when in doubt, ask Google. So Eleanor Rigby was Paul McCarthy, wasn't there? He was in the Beatles. No, it was because it, basically, oh fuck, hang on. So Paul McCartney, is that right? Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney. 
he wrote the song uh, based on a woman that he used to go shopping for and he dedicated the song to her because she was a lovely lonely old lady and he used to look after her and that's where the song is dedicated to ladies and gentlemen well we got there in the end didn't we <laughs> we did right now let's go and have a look at the world i don't know if it's going to be busy i hope it's not because it spoils it to be honest when it's busy so down here you got whoa look at the size of that screen in there oh mccoolies sports bus empty last night that was round now it is starting to rain which is shit uh so this is the cavern cavern matthew street quarter the cavern quarter now i've got to be careful because it's copyright because obviously people are blaring up music but this is dedicated to a lot of beatles themed stuff down here isn't it let's look you've got like hey jude hair and beauty legend sport bar oh wow look at that irish america bar because obviously the irish is very um has a very strong presence in liverpool um Oh, should we go in the shop, yeah? The Beatles shop. We've got to go in there and have a little look. As we're on the Beatles street. That's amazing, that is. Look at that. Yeah, come on in. Have a little looky. Oh, wow, look at that, man. Oh, if you're a Beatles fan, Liverpool is the place to come, by the way. Hey mate. So much stuff. Hey mate. Wow. Copyright. <laughs> What's this? It's got like loads of things of people writing on it. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I wonder if they've ever been in here. What do you reckon? Do you reckon the Beatles have ever been in here? Back in the day? They've got all the old albums on vinyl and stuff. That's pretty cool, man. Like I said, if you're a Beatles fan, this is like heaven. She's from love. <laughs> it's your favourite saying, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah. I know. I don't even know much about the Beatles, to be honest. <coughs> there he is. That's the Ringo Starr. Standing right back here on the phone. Where's the one? <laughs> Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, oh, there's Sean Lennon, John Lennon's son, in this shop in 1990. That's pretty awesome, that. Yeah, that's when they moved to New York. Yeah, that's a wicked picture, I like that. Michael McCarthy. Well. So obviously I had to be fairly careful in there because of the copyright. Because he was playing Beatles music, of all things, in a Beatles shop. Now, we've got to talk over the copyright because the last thing we want is a copyright infringement on this amazing vlog. Look at this, mate. What's this, mate? Ah! Oh, I love how, like, the, the, the car, the part of the drawing and the, uh, the lights. That is awesome. They've got some more art down there. So what, do, what street does that go down to, mate? Uh, Button Street, I think. Button Street. Right, let's have a look down there. Beatles themed everywhere, man. Oh, look at that. Liverpool is the pool of life. But they do blast out music to stop young abiding YouTubers from using the footage. But I'll just, I'll just mute it out. Oh, look at this. It's awesome, isn't it? Oh, they got a Beatles museum, eh? We're not going in here, by the way. You've probably got to pay. Beatles museum. It's mad how like how much the Beatles have well it's inf influenced like the world, haven't it? And it's cool how the how the Beatles change their genres through through music, innit? Like they started off for like a one genre, then they went into like all these different genres. Loud and earth.
There she is. Scylla White before she turned into Scylla Black because she's also from Liverpool. Unfortunately, she's no longer with us. That's interesting, her dress, isn't it? What do you think these are then? I'm not sure. What, do you know when the statue was put here? Was it put here when she was alive or after she passed away? Um, after she passed away, I think. Hey! Yeah. Oh. She's a mysterious girl. The what? I think he was saying she's a mysterious girl. Oh, right. Well, the song's on as well, Mysterious Girl, so. This is where the original carving club was, right? Yeah. Oh, right. Why is that? Because they moved it. They didn't realise the importance of it at the time. Ah, right. So this is, well, so yeah, so it's no longer you now, is this all covered up? Yeah, so this one is a replica of this one. Ah, okay. So when the Beatles played, did they play in this one, or was it that one over there? Oh, so that one is not real? It's a replica of this one. Right, okay. That makes sense. Whoa, I just got like... It is, it is an impressive looking street mine, doesn't it? It looks amazing. Oh, so I mean, Liverpool have got everything. It's got all the, all the architecture, everything you want. It's got like history. And it's also got this, the Cavern Club. Now oh, this is, yeah, you've got to pay to get in, mate. Now oh, we're not going to go in here, but there's some pictures. So this is the pictures of the cabin club. This is what it looks like on the side. We went there last night, but it was it was too busy, so I took these two pictures. So maybe no, I'll get my thumbnail like that in it. I'll get my thumbnail when I'm down here, so it looks a little better. Thumbnail. I'll do that down here though, so it looks a little better. So. I gotta sign it. Yeah, I gotta get the sign. So yeah, so there you go, that's the Cavern Club. It's like one of the most famous clubs in the world. And it's really cool because there's music blaring from everywhere in there. So what's this then? The Cavern Pub. So what's that then? Cavern Pub, the Cavern Club. But what makes this street extra amazing and special is this. Is this here? We got an awesome statue of Mr. John Lennon himself. Hiya, mate. I have to do the sniff on John Lennon. It's gonna look really weird. Mm. <laughs> but what makes this even extra special are these every brick you see is a band that's played in the cavern club and as you can see this goes all the way up there and it goes all the way around there this is the wall of fame now half of these bands I, I would say Three quarter of the bands, I don't know who they are. But you do get the odd Thin Lizzy. Um, status, status quo, Oasis have played there. But then for some reason, people have like scratched into it. And that kind of, that spoils it a little bit. I don't know why they put graffiti on it. Then you obviously got, you got Queen's played here. That's awesome, Arctic Monkeys. And as you can see guys, look at this. It goes all the way up. That is absolutely an amazing. This, uh, not, I was going to say phenomenal. <laughs> There's a mixture between awesome and phenomenal. But um, but yeah, they, they, it, it, it's so important for like the music scene, you know. Jimi Hendrix has been here. This this band from China has been here. <laughs> Adele. Wow, it's amazing, man. The Wanted. Blink 22, where are you? Or Blink Plagia? I don't mean Blink, Blink, Blink 22, would I? It could be odd if you have something. There's a band there called Frump. <laughs> oh, wow. So, that is 
Liverpool's Matthew Street, one of the most famous streets in the world. Come on, come on. Oh, man. It's amazing, isn't it, man? All right. From, uh... Oh wow! ACDC, you know? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really good with music. Led Zeppelin. Ah, oh, Led Zeppelin. I should have. I know that. I was just testing you. Uh, Tom O'Dell. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is not the end of this vlog. You can finish this vlog right here if you want because we've done. We've had a little look at the music scene of. Uh, Liverpool because it's very important and obviously the Beatles are super world famous but we are on the hunt for Scouse which is a Liverpool a delicacy just we can't seem to find it the place we were going was shut we don't know where we're gonna find it oh look at that man oh there's another I didn't see that up there that's John Lennon there look and that is, I don't know what that is. Oh, they're all over there. They're, all, they're over the whole thing. That's amazing, isn't it? So proud. So proud of the history, you know? It's amazing. Whoa, look at this. It's amazing, man. The streets, the streets in the, in the night were pretty, in, were pretty cool, but in the day, just phenomenal, man. Phenomenal. Let's have a little look what we got down here. So we're going to a place called the Slaughterhouse, which possibly might sell Scouse. Scouse. Cannibalized Scouse. Cannibalized Scouse. Mm. What is my Scouse? What is it? It's basically a stew, but apparently it's amazing. You can't, you can't come to Liverpool and not have Scouse. It's just it is Sunday. It is fairly quiet, and a lot of places tend to be like shut so ladies and gentlemen that there is town hall looks very impressive shame about this blockage thing spoiling the shot but it's all right now there's something down here we're gonna have a little look at it's very very important again for the the history of liverpool now in world war ii you've probably heard that liverpool well britain got bombed badly Liverpool was hit because it was on the port and it had all the industrial, all the factories and everything. And obviously during the blackouts, they didn't know they were bombing, so they were just bombing everywhere. And Liverpool basically got flattened. It was really, really bad. Here's a picture. Editing. <laughs> so, after all the bombs fell, um, there was one statue which was not even marked. There was no, there was, there was nothing wrong with it. It was like all the bombs completely missed it. And that's the statue we're going to take you to right now. The statue of Queen Victoria. Now, apparently there was no, it survived all the bombing. There was no marks upon it. It just stood there in all its glory. And I think that is very important, especially for like, for the city proud. You know, a proud city, and obviously the Queen Victoria is a massive staple of, of England and the world. And there it is. It, it, it survived the massive bombings from the Germans, you know. They could not take this one statue down. If I'm talking bollocks, please just let me know in the comments. <laughs> but I think it's really, I, I think, like, it's like that, um... It's like that thing and all the chaos and all like when the dust have settled, this is the last thing standing. And I think it's uh, very, very important. It's like a staple to show how strong the city is, you know? And there we go. Look at that. That's amazing. There's a reason why this is called Castle Street as well. Ah, there you go. So this is Castle Street that we just came off, which has got Town Hall at the far end. There used to be a castle right by here. Ah, oh, Liverpool Castle. Yeah, they took it down and they repurposed 
the stone to make the dock front from the castle stone. Ah, okay. What, well, all that, what we walked yesterday, all, this, all yeah. the wall? Like. So see this building here, it's called the castle moat house, where the castle, the moat ah. used to go. Yeah. Look at that, history lesson. <laughs> Anything else? Um, Come on, hit this with some more. This is cool. I'm going to go up there and have a look at that now. Maybe do a little sniff. <laughs> One of these buildings is the old bank of North and South Wales as well. It might be this one here, the old bank. No it one. Might be this one. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's what I mean. The, the, it's just all. It's just so, so like. If this got bombed, though, wouldn't they have? Got, wouldn't they have got destroyed, or would they be? Have they been rebuilt? Well, they they rebuilt them, but they try and keep the architecture the same. Right. Okay. Yeah, let's go and have a look at the statue. I guess they are. That's amazing, man. Look at that. It's awesome. It smells bloody lovely down here. Oh, where are they going? We should just hang around with them. Hang around with a gang of people. Yeah, it's amazing. Again, this is another street yet to walk down. It's just like so many streets. And look at it. It does look a little bit like New York, in my opinion. Um, obviously, if the uh, well, <laughs> maybe not. I don't know. Feels like New York. Oh look, look. Speaking of New York, Manhattan. What kind of shops are there? Like a light shop. Looks like a, oh, it's a bar. A bar. So we really, really, really want to try Scouse before I end this vlog because I think it's obviously this vlog is amazing. So don't forget to hit the thumbs up, guys, because it helps people. It pushes the vlog out to people that wouldn't normally watch the vlog. So let's have a look at the menu. Traditional homemade scouse. We're in luck. Yeah. Do you have any scouse? Yeah. Oh, exciting. So, it says, tasty pieces of steak, potato carrots served with crusty bread and choice of beetroot or red cabbage. Ooh, I'm gonna have red cabbage. What's traditional? Is it uh, cabbage? Be beetroot, beetroot yeah. yeah. I'll have to have beetroot. So we're in a place called the Slaughtered Lamb. It's a little bit loud in here. As you can see, it's got loads of football and stuff over the, the, the TVs. But um, yeah, we're finally going to try some scouse. So Aaron just asked the lady why this place is called the Slaughterhouse. Well, guess what? This used to be a slaughterhouse in the 1800s. And I was like, oh yeah. And I looked up at the rafters. And you can actually see like the parts where they used to hang, hang things up. and. Mad in it. Mad in it. I was sitting there with an old slaughterhouse. It's to slaughter animals and stuff, you know. Health and safety. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the food is here. This is Scouse. It comes with beetroot. I do like me, Drew. I never used to as a kid. Oh, wow. Oh. That smells amazing. Look at that. Oh my god, I can't wait to tuck in. Oh, mate. Oh, right to <laughs> Oh, mate, I can't wait for this. It's been a few months since I've had a scouse. I absolutely, I absolutely love stew. This looks phenomenal. Here we go, guys. First time trying scouse in Liverpool. It smells amazing. Oh, man. That's banging stunning so let's try a little bit of beetroot in my scouse something I've never ever done in my life but it must go because obviously they that's what they do mm. that is amazing wow never in my life I've put on beetroot with a stew <laughs> wow. 
to my bread. It's amazing, by the way. So the toilets were in the dungeons of a slaughterhouse. Right, let's get out of here. <laughs> so, what would you give the Scouse? Uh, give it a gold. I'll wow. give it a gold. Yeah. High end gold. High end gold. It's not legendary. It was top end. It was. It was really nice. I think I just I needed to add a little bit of salt in it yeah, to make it unique. She did offer, yeah. <laughs> it's a gold though. Gold's good. Yeah, yeah but it was. Uh, it was amazing. First time I've ever had Scouse. Basically stew, which was really really nice with beetroot. Cowl. Cowl. Lamb cowl in it. Beef. Beef cowl. So beef cowl is stew. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had cowl. I've had oh. stew. This is the Welsh name for stew. Oh is it? Oh there you go. <laughs> right. What's the plan? Liverpool one. Right. Bear with. I'm a Guinness drinker, but Oh, no. Nah. You barely touch your lip, man. <laughs> I know. Or maybe, yeah. Maybe. Oh. I just think it needs a little bit of sweetness in it. Due to the Irish. Yeah. Can you add, like, lemonade <laughs> in Guinness? <laughs> Some people want blackcurrant in it. Yeah, that might be nice. How bad is the rain? It's bearable. Okay. We've got to worry about Betsy. So we are now going down to... One Street. Liverpool one. Liverpool one direction street. Go the port, like we're gonna go for a port. Mm. We're, going, we're going for a new port. Yeah. Right to put my hood up. Do I look alright? How do I look on my hood up? Do I look okay? I've only got my hood up by the way because it's cold. <laughs> Not because of the rain. Obviously because of the rain. Ah. Uh, but Aaron just said oh, we gotta do it, so I don't know where we're going. But uh in trust in Aaron. Ah, I know where we're taking me. To the Titanic hotel. Apparently it looks just like the Titanic. Oh. What is it? Okay. Oh wow, look at this. What room? Seven? Seven. Come in. Is it? Well, I don't know. You want to fit. Right. <laughs> you delivering pizza? You don't, oh, you don't, don't want to get your bum in, mate. I'm trying to like... <laughs> 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 it's me. Right, sorry mate, just turn <laughs> Your bag was on the door. <laughs> Are you delivering furs in the hotel? Yeah, I'm going to do it in the Oh, that's quite cool. It's not, oh. a, it's not us. Yeah. That's cool, though. I hope they give you a big tip. Look there, so it looks like a, a security camera. What floor are you on, mate? Uh. <laughs> What's on the seven? We'll find out. There you go, mate. Six. This is six. Yeah. <laughs> 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 asking us questions. I'm going to We just walked in. I don't even know what we're doing. Aaron knows up. Oi. And out. The door's opening. This going to sacrifice me. Ah, okay. Champagne. Oh, hey, hey. Hi, mate. He's been here. I've never been here. Hi, love. 
Um, I'll have a Coke, please. Um, I'll have a pint if that's okay, my darling. Would you have a draft? Yeah, just bottles. Oh, just bottles today. I'll have a bottle of draft. Bottle of draft. Well, these are cool, aren't they? I was going to say, are these from the Titanic? <laughs> Probably not. Well, as long as it's down the bottom of the ocean. Right, what's the story behind the thing? They are from. Um, they are. When this builds, it used to be the White Star there. Right. They are from. That was ah, the okay. The tippets that got stored in them. I love it. I love that bottle of Peroni, please. Please don't slip because I'll fucking piss myself laughing. Oh, wow, mate. Whoa, look at that. So this is why I bring special people in my life. <laughs> Thank you, mate. I'm honoured. Is my hawk gonna is my hat gonna go though? Hang two seconds. Is your ham hawk gonna go? Is my ham hawk, my hat. Let me put my uh put this on, because the last thing I want is my hat flying off. Go for walkies. Mate, I love rooftop bars. So this is the HQ. Of the company that made the Titanic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool, isn't it, over there? Like the little blind, uh, the little bridge on that's, the lock. That's one of uh, the very famous place which uh, we're obviously going to do. We're not going to do this time around here. No, Joe, go for a walk. Put <laughs> down there after the. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit. I don't know, I feel a bit uneasy up here, to be honest. Have a look. That's a shame. I'm going to try and spit on someone. <laughs> wow. Ladies and gentlemen. The guy turned the lights on for us and he went like that out the window. Oh, that's nice of him. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna end the vlog. Come here, Aaron. Come here, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, what an amazing place to end the vlog. I want to say thank you to every single person that's come here, that's clicked like, that's followed the channel. That's been part of the adventure. The bloody music is copyright. <laughs> as long as I speak over, it should be fine now. Right, cool. uh, I should cover the mic. Cover the mic there, so I don't pick it up as much. So I do want to say thank you so much for watching the vlog. Um, this adventure's been incredible. Thank you to this guy. This guy's been an absolute legend. He's been awesome. And he's, a, he's an absolute legend, guys. Because by the words. <laughs> Awful no, I was awful. never going to say awful. No, but like this trip wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Aaron. So I do want to say thank you so much for all the love. Everything he does for the channel. This guy does so much behind the scenes. And he's an absolute fucking asset to my life. And he's a friend. So, <laughs> so, yeah. so it's important to have people like this in your life, guys. People that got your back. When the shit hits the fan, you've got people like this in your life. So thank you very much, mate, for everything. This is There might be there might be another vlog, yeah, I'm not yeah. sure, yeah. But I just thought like to end the vlog here on this amazing view is I didn't know what was coming up here, you surprised me. So yeah. So thank you so much guys and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Eee!